Nora Tiedemann, a paleontologist, is asked for help by the Norwegian government because several protesters died in the Dover Mountains under strange circumstances. She is appointed as a consultant. Nora teams up with Andreas who is the advisor of the Prime Minister, and soldier Chris who serves in the Norwegian military. The group seeks help from the eccentric Tobias, a folklore expert and father of Nora. In the past, Tobias lost his job for his belief in mythical beasts such as trolls. The group discovers that a troll must have killed the protesters. They conclude that the troll must be stopped as well as their government which exacerbates the situation. Chris leads the military operation that is arranged by the Prime Minister. They notice that conventional weapons only annoy the troll, but won't kill it. Shortly after, Tobias tries to communicate with the troll. Unfortunately Tobias was killed in his attempt. The troll heads to Oslo, the Norwegian capital, of which the Prime Minister orders a full evacuation. Nora loses her position as consultant. Andreas learns that the government plans to destroy the troll with a nuclear missile attack on Oslo, so he resigns. Nora struggles to find the truth about the troll. In her final attempt, the notes of Tobias led them to the royal castle. There they meet Rickard Sinding who is the chief of court. Rickard reveals the truth about trolls in Norway. It turns out that Tobias was right all along. These creatures did in fact used to walk the lands. Tobias came too close to the truth. So Ricard had Tobias sent to a mental health hospital. The palace was built on top of the palace of a troll king. This happened after the Christians slaughtered his troll family and left him inside a cabin in the Dover Mountains, assuming he would die there. Now the troll heads for Oslo in an attempt to return home. The group discovers that trolls are sensitive to sunlight. Chris and Nora plan to expose the troll to UV light by a lot of tanning beds. Chris calls his fellow soldiers to construct the troll trap. Andreas asks his friend Sigrid, who works at the government, to delay the bombing of Oslo. Sigrid manages to hack into the computer of the fighter jet, and succeeds in halting the nuclear attack on Oslo. Nora and Andreas load a skull of a troll baby in the back of the truck. They manage to lure the troll in the UV light trap. Nora changes her mind last minute and tried to save the life of the troll, but it's too late. The sun rises in a clear sky and kills the troll. When everybody else rejoices, Nora and Andreas ask themselves if there might be more alive trolls inside the mountains of Norway. During the aftermath, another troll inside the Dover mountain rises from the rubble.